you're this perp back with another video and i've seen my fair share of weird ass movies but the green knight has definitely been one of the weirdest experiences i've ever witnessed so bear with me because i really don't know how to really break this movie down obviously i don't even know how you would spoil this movie um it's definitely one of those artsy types of movies it's definitely not for the casual movie goer i don't think this is definitely for mainstream audiences only like hardcore film uh film heads um that being said i will say listening to what a lot of people had to say about this movie online i will have to say i feel like this movie is a little bit overrated at this point not to say it's a bad movie there are some issues with it like i was all in for this whole entire journey you have this character played by uh dev patel he plays king arthur's nephew in this and like i said i like a lot of this movie it's just the ending kind of lost me it kind of is the it's kind of one of those situations where it's uh, style over substance where you have this character you know king arthur's nephew i'm drawing a blank on his actual name um i, I forget his name but he seems to not take responsibility for certain things or i could be reaching with that or the whole point of this movie is to see his journey and to kind of conquer his fears the most interesting thing about this movie is the green knight that's what this movie is called but the green knight himself is kind of really underwhelming i love the design of the green knight but just the execution just fell flat for me so there's this christmas game that the green knight um kind of has where he gives you an opportunity to behead him but in a year's time you have to go find him and do uh, let him do the same thing really weird premise really cool premise but weird at the same time so you're going through this whole entire journey he's meeting all these different types of people that's where you can kind of get lost but it's also fascinating at the same time that's why i'm really at a crossroads with this movie I'm not going to lean toward saying it's trash and I'm not going to say it's like a masterpiece. It's phenomenally shot. And I like that they have these little title cards um, throughout the movie kind of lets you know what chapter is what makes it feel like a real story coming to life, like a fairy tale or something like that. Like I said, that's cool and all. But I think this movie will lose a lot of people, especially casual viewers. If you're not like me, I don't really know a lot about the whole King Arthur thing. I don't even know what this is based off. If this is like a real story or something like that, or just a kind of a tale. I don't know the backstories on this, uh, to be honest. Like I said, I think the main character did a really good job. But like I said, it's just one of those weird, really weird movies. And it's just, at times, it really doesn't make sense, especially when it gets to the end. I understand what they're going for. Like, yeah, like you have to kind of build up courage and, you know, make some life changes and stuff like that. But I don't know, man. Let me know how you guys feel about this. If you've seen this movie, are you curious on watching this movie? Um... Let me know if you have any backstory or anything like that of this movie, if this is based off of anything like any type of fairy tale book or something like that, or I don't know. Um, yeah, that's all I got pretty much for this movie. Like I said, it's really hard to explain exactly what I watched. I'm a little confused, but also not like disappointed at the same time. It's just that ending is really weird for me. I think this is definitely not for everybody, like I said, but I would 
recommend checking it out because you might like it more than me. So till next time, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.